everyone is Nisha. Uh, so today I thought I'd do my empties. There isn't that many but I think that's better because otherwise the videos are too long. As you can see I'm wearing my um, um, quarter, wi quarter wig. It is quarter wig or half a wig um, which I love. Um, okay let's get to it so the first thing i finished i finished um is the spongibles petty scrub food buffer and i love these and uh, melissa has sent me a couple because we can't get them here um i still have the second one on a go but it's approaching end of its life um, they are just fabulous. They are so lovely to to scrub your feet with. They smell gorgeous. Yeah, they are amazing. So you should try it. The second thing I finished, and that was I think just like a sample, and that was sent to me uh, by my subscriber, was the Shiseido uh, Wrinkle Resist Pure Retinol Express Smoothing Eye Mask. I adored this. That was amazing. Really made your under eye area feel so plump and moisturized and fresh. Um, so I am thinking of trying to get that. I didn't actually have a look if they come like in a box because you you get just um, one. Let me show you. They came in this tray. And you just get two patches to apply so obviously you can't reapply them uh, so i don't know if you buy like a box of these uh, i have to have a look at it actually forgot all about it because i've got this um box where i put all my empties and i forgot all about it so i need to remember to go and look for it i really really enjoy those then i finished and that was just uh, i had two of these um living proof prime style extender it was just a um sample but one of these lasted me for like three times because i didn't use much and i i, pro I, I think i've told you about it in one of my like favorites i really liked it i still haven't bought um the full size because of course i forgot with this being here um i also finished uh, my diuretic it lash mascara i really like this mascara and i have another one but you know you've been hearing me talking about my lashes um i'm not so happy with it anymore but that might be due to my lashes not being at the best so but it's a good mascara otherwise i wouldn't have bought another one okay now i finished the john frida full repair deep conditioner mask and I really enjoy that. In fact, look, it's absolutely empty. It smelled gorgeous. It made my hair feel really, really silky. I didn't repurchase the mask, but I repurchased the conditioner in a tube uh, simply because I was in the supermarket and it was um, on offer. So it was really cheap and I'm using it now and i love it as much as I, I think the john frida full repair range is really good then same old same old uh simple cleanser this is like my go-to i do try different cleansers and i use different cleansers but this is like you know cheap cheerful takes my makeup off doesn't have any nasties in it and it's very easy for me to get. I can get it in any supermarket. So I always have backup of that one. I finished my Duo Glue. And I won't be buying another one of those. Um, first of all, I find it quite difficult to squeeze it from the tube. You, you always get too much. I used to squeeze it on my hand and then apply the, uh, the glue to the lashes with cotton bud. After a while though, I don't use uh, fake lashes every day, so um, I've had that for a long time and after a while, and it's probably because, because of the packaging, it's sort of separated, so if I went to squeeze it, it would be just like clear liquid would come out first, so there is probably a tiny bit left, 
and also my lashes kept coming off with it so I won't repurchase that I've got I've since bought the Revlon uh, one in a um, in a tube you know with a little brush applicator and I really like that one so that one is not being repurchased uh, then I finished my MAC Fix Plus I adore this thing, I love the smell of it, I love what it does. You need to remember that this is not a makeup fixing spray. Uh, the, the name is a bit misleading because it says Fix Plus. This is um, a really toner. It has wonderful ingredients in it, moisturizing ingredients, nourishing ingredients. So how I use it, I use it in the morning um, before I put anything on, any moisturizer. Well, I put my um, serum first and then I spray my face with this, wait for it to dry and then I apply moisturizer. And uh, on the top of makeup, I only use it, you know, the famous way where you spray after you've finished your um, foundation powder. If it's too powdery, I spray it all over my face and dry it with a hairdryer so it melts all the powder so it don't look too powdery. But I don't use that every day for that purpose. Uh, but I use it every day before my moisturizer to just give me, you know, some vitamins and extra moisture. Um, now, this thing, and this is Dr. Brand. That was, um, I had a couple of these. And this is called Needles No More with exclusive tree blend wrinkle relaxer. It's this little serum that's supposed to, uh, you know, help with the wrinkles around your eyes. I don't know if this one was for eyes. This um, was sent to me by one of my subscribers as well. And I really, really liked it. I went and checked it on Paula's Choice and they said that there is absolutely nothing that will get rid of your wrinkles in here um, it just has loads of emollients that temporarily obviously because they moisturize your skin so much and temporarily might fill the wrinkles but I really enjoyed it so it's not a bad product it's just that it's not true that it's going to give you what Botox gives you but because it has so many emollients, um, it gives that impression very temporary, just as you use it, that it smooths your lines a bit. And I think it did, but I really enjoyed it. It was lovely texture. So it's not something that is going to get rid of your wrinkles. It is very expensive though, and that's what Paula Strauss was saying, that um, for the price, it's not really doing anything. Uh, long term if you know what I mean but I really liked it so if you want to try it it's worth it I also finished my uh, Salve vitamin C E and ferulic acid serum which I love and this is something that I use first thing in the morning as my skincare as you know the vitamin C E and ferulic are very powerful antioxidants and with together with SPF that works really well and um, my big sis Angie from Hot and Flashy uh, checked it out for me and she said that it's got all good ingredients because she obviously has her own that she uses but I can't get them here the ones that she uses and if I can it's probably very very expensive for me to have it shipped but I get this one on Amazon I will put the link down below and I think at the moment they're doing deal on it is much cheaper than I normally get it for so I've already bought another one then I finished my Anastasia brow with in medium ash and I enjoy the brow with um, but at the moment I'm not using it if you've seen my favorites match favorites you will know that I have like this new eyebrow combo that at the moment is working for me it's not that there is anything wrong with it I think it's it is a bit expensive there is not much product in it but it is a really really good product one of my favorites I would say but I have 
quite a few brow products at the moment. I don't need to buy it again, but I probably will in future. Now, another little sample, uh, it was from The Fresh, and that was a black tea firming overnight mask. That was very pleasant. It is more like a thick uh, cream, and you just smother it on and sleep in it, and it was very, very comforting. So um, I've never used anything from this uh, company, but I really enjoyed it. I finished my last one, um, Elf Eye Primer. I don't know if you remember a long time ago, I said how wonderful these primers are and they are so cheap. Um, and they do them in three colors. This is not the mineral one because they do mineral one, which is a bit more expensive than this. This one was like pound fifty or something. Um, and this one was in champagne. Um, I prefer the sheer, I think it's called, because it doesn't have really any color. This one is um, had a bit of a purpley color. Um, but what happened, um, I can't get it now in the UK. We had um, Elf website, but I think they, was it Elf or NYX? One of these websites, I just had an um, email not long ago, that they closing the website i don't know if they're not doing very good business or whatnot but i i went lately because i wanted to get a couple of elf brushes and these and they didn't have them in stock at all so what i did i very often shop from iherb.com which is in the us i think and the shipping is not very expensive and i bought a couple of the elf eye primers, eyeshadow primers, and a couple of uh, blush brushes. I have a code actually in my description box. If you click through that, I just get some reward points. And this is not anything special for YouTubers. If you then go and order something, you probably get your code to share with your friends and family that, because if you click through that code, I think you will get 10 pounds off, uh, $10 off or something like that. And I just get some points, I think. But then once you've ordered, you will get that code to share with friends and family. Um, so that's all really. It's like a reward points, I think, scheme or something like that. But they have, um, even if I want Real Techniques brushes, I will not buy them here in the UK. I will buy them from iHerb because even with the shipping, I get much better deals, so check them out. And the last thing is my L'Oreal Professional Shine Blonde Shampoo. And I probably haven't talked about it uh, before, but I've been using this for years, and the conditioner. And this is basically one of those blue shampoos, because when I used to work in, um, in the hair salon, we used to stock the L'Oreal Professional and I love the L'Oreal Professional line and Shine Blonde was perfect for me, you know, to take out the brassiness. This is not the darkest one. This one is very good to use for your every wash. So your hair will never get go to grey or blue because there is another one which is called, I think it's actually called Silver Shampoo from the L'Oreal Professional. And this is the stronger one, the darker one that you probably only need to use once a week. But this one you can use with every wash and they do as well conditioner that goes with it. It's absolutely perfect. It's repairing and it's brightening for your blonde hair. So if you've got opportunity to try it, I strongly recommend it. It's a lovely shampoo. Um, and I've had it for ages because I've used so many other ones, you know, with YouTube, you try all sorts. And um, yeah, and I found it sort of in the back of my shower cubicle um, thinking, oh, I still got some left, so I've used it and now it's all gone. And that's it. They were all my empties. That's all I've used lately. Um, I don't seem to be using up things very, very much, but because I think I've got so much, you know, I've, I've, um, I've been sent so many different little samples that I've been using and trying out and enjoying that I'm not really using all my 
full size stuff so much. Okay then, um, I hope you enjoy that. Thank you very much for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye.